here talking to you about the book, The Catcher in the Rye. By J.D. Salinger. The Catcher in the Rye tells about a boy named Holden who was recently kicked out of Pensy Prep and leaves three days early to live in a hotel. Talks to a cab driver, goes to visit Mr. Antolini for advice, takes a cab to look for Phoebe, goes to the play, and goes ice skating where he urges Sally to run away with him, drinks with an old student advisor, and questions him about his sexuality, meets Phoebe at the museum, and takes her to the carousel and nearly cries. Holden got sick and was checked into a mental institution. Holden's red hunting cap symbolizes the boosting of his self-confidence. In chapter 25, when Holden isn't wearing his red hunting cap, he says, Allie, don't let me disappear. The red hunting cap could represent Allie. Holden felt safe around him. Allie and Holden had a connection, so whenever he puts the cap on, he feels safe because it is a way to be with Allie, and being with Allie boosted his confidence. In the beginning, when Stradladder and Holden fought, before the fight, Holden was a coward and was being very immature. After the fight, when he puts on his hunting hat, he felt very powerful. His self-esteem went up. After 25, Holden walks Phoebe to the carousel, and when she gets on, he puts his red hunting cap on and started crying. This could mean that he is realizing that growing up is a part of life. The ducks represent Holden himself, not knowing what to do or where to go. In chapter 12, Holden says, Do you happen to know where they go in the winter? By saying this, Holden wishes that he knew where he was going, but doesn't want to move on. In another part of chapter 12, the cab driver says, the fish don't go anywhere. Holden starts to believe that he is not a duck, but a fish, and wonders what he will become in his future. In the book, when talking about the fish, it explains that the fish have it harder than the ducks because the ducks get to leave and the fish are stuck to await spring. This represents Holden being the fish because he is isolated and he has a touch. Holden believes childhood is the only time you are innocent. In chapter 17, Holden says, Girls with their legs crossed. This represents innocence because these girls have not gone all the way. In the book, when Holden talks to Allie, he envies him. You see, Allie died innocent, he never had to grow up, and he kept the innocence. Page 171. Just because someone is dead, you don't stop liking them. For God's sake, especially if they were a thousand times nicer than the living. He is talking about Allie and how he misses his innocent little brother he had once had, how he wants to be just like him. Holden is always depressed because he is lonely. On page 149, Holden straight up says, Please, I'm lonesome as hell. No kidding. He wants the person he's talking to to stay and have another drink so he won't be lonely again. In the book, when Holden wants to talk to Phoebe on the phone, he wants someone to talk to, but he is afraid his parents will answer the call instead of her. In chapter 17, Hol Holden urges Sally to run away with him. He wants her to run away with him so he won't be alone and will have a companion with him. Tell us what you think in the comments below. <laughs> Bloopers! <laughs> One. Two. Are we laughing? <laughs> Blooper! Oh, <shit>. Dude! But <laughs> if I touch a burning candle, I can feel no pain. If you stab me with a knife, it's still the same. And now her heart is beating, and I know that <laughs> I am dead. Something about a tear to shed. Did not work. <laughs> <laughs> Question: How did Holden ever wear his hat backwards? I want to know this. It feels uh, weird. <laughs> the catcher in the ride tells us about a boy named Holden who was recently kicked out of Pensy Prep and leaves three days early to live in a hotel. Talks to a cab driver. Goes to visit Mr. Antolini for advice. Talks. Takes a cab to look for Vivi. Goes to the play and goes ice skating where he urges Sally to run away with him. Drinks with an old student advisor and questions him about his sexuality. Meets Vivi. <laughs> <laughs> Meets sexuality. <laughs> I know. I noticed that. <laughs> we are we are mentally challenged. <laughs> Hi, we're here to talk to you about about the book, The Catcher in the Rye, by J.D. Salinger. <laughs> the Catcher in the Rye. <laughs> it was upside down, huh? <laughs> upside down and backwards. Um.